first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the cancel me baby podcast in your lives forever and ever till death do us part. Amen. And to celebrate this, I mean, speaking of marriage, you know, we have the Jason Moore in the house today. Jason is the director of the new rom-com action fun flick shotgun wedding with a few folks you may have heard of. Okay. JLo, Jennifer Coolidge, Lenny Kravitz and his sex God ways, Josh Dumal. The movie is produced by Ryan Reynolds. We got some big names in this bitch. So without further ado, Jason, welcome to cancel me, baby. This is my first interview of the new year. So how should we commemorate? I mean, I think com- commemorate, I wish we could pop some sh- champagne, but seriously, I guess, why can't we? But listen, but, uh, I have the next best thing for you, Jason. Look, I even have this flower arrangement, right? In the name of holy matrimony. So there you go. It feels special. That's good. It looks good. I'm glad it's nice Thank to you. It's an honor to be your first one. Yeah, I'm excited. So obviously, this movie you know, looks like it was a blast to shoot. I've interviewed Jen and Josh, met them both, very cool people. Um, But we are going to kick off today, Jason, with what other than the OG booty, J-Lo's iconic booty, right? Because you have, I'm not going to give it away, but there is a scene that pays ode to her booty in all of its glory. And as my listeners know, I have been on what I call sex goddess body operation to craft my own body and booty of my dreams. And she is inspo, right? And that means she embodies that. The inspiration. Yeah. Yes. And so because it is like female power. And so in a time, Jason, when it's kind of wonky and uptight with male gaze and objectification and this and that. I wanted to talk about that scene because it's everything. It's why I do what I do, that visual power. Like even in the scene, Josh Jumal is like at his knees, right? It's like such a powerful visual in and of itself. So I'm sure that J-Lo was like, let's do this. I am proud. There's even a line where Jennifer Coolidge is like, is that genetics or like what's going on there? So I'm sure J-Lo was like, let's rock and roll. Yes. Oh yeah. She, she, we all know she's one of the most beautiful women in the world from every angle. I mean, she, she's just incredible. And, you know, she was launching her um, JLo beauty line. So about a year before, and I was looking at some of those photos, just thinking she's an incredible shape. And of course she is just sort of physically, emotionally, and, you know, cardiovascularly. (laughs) And, um, and, and it was, and it was part of the, the scene is that she's trying to seduce, her fiance, who's completely distracted with all the wedding stuff. So she, as you know, we said she wanted to pull out the big guns to try and get him to pay attention. And and she did. And she's got them. And it's, 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 uh, I think it makes the scene funny, but it makes yeah. it sexy. Um, and it, and it, it, it is also is something iconic about Jennifer, I think. A hundred percent. And I love what you said about her mental well-being and obviously physically and just crushing it and that's what I really advocate for is how it they feed one another and they yeah. just allow women to tap into that power yeah. um and again we are in a time where it's like no don't objectify or this or that which makes it kind of topsy turvy yeah. and yeah. so with that being said right because there is all of this talk about male gaze and this and that. And the way I see it, like even in that scene, it's like hot is hot people. Okay. I don't care whose gaze it is. Hot is hot. Is there an extra sort of sensitivity on set? That's like, you're like a little awareness in the back of your head navigating stuff like that. Right. Cause of the climate. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think hopefully we've always had a little bit of sensitivity to it now, but we have a lot more awareness of it now. And so, and a lot of it has to do with the comfort of the actor or actress. And in this particular case, Jennifer's actually very comfortable in that position. It is, it is something that I think is part of her power and that he, she associates yeah. with power. Yeah. And, and she's in charge of it. Like that was always the kind of thing we would talk about, which is like, what do you think looks good? What do you think and she knows camera angles too. Let me tell you that. <laughs> She's like, I can do this and he can go here. Uh, so um, ownership 
being in charge of it, being powerful and and naturally looking great, which she does. Uh, and it was and it was for this. It made sense in the story also. So I yeah. think that's the important part. So, yeah, I wanted to I, I wanted viewers to enjoy that component, but in the context of yeah. of what she's doing as a character. I'm here for it, Jason. Appreciate it. And take note, ladies. I love how she's like, this is the angle. This is how it's going to roll. Men follow, watch, and learn. And this is how it's going to be. Like, ultimate, she, ultimate. She really knows. Life. She's been photographed by so many incredible people and, and all parts of her body. She knows. She knows. And and that she's in charge. And it's, 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 it's a real, it's a gift as a collaborator, as a director, to have someone like that that collaborates sure. on all something like that but also really frankly all issues of the movie because she's smart exactly well I was just gonna pivot into that beyond the physical right something that I can appreciate about her is how we all know her love life and her marriages and all this are scrutinized to no end but like her body she doesn't shy away she's like here I am I'm gonna be in my natural habitat in a rom-com with marriage eat your heart out and I love that. Again, it's that aspect of really owning it and not shying away from that public, you know, obsession or scrutiny, but kind of being like, well, I'm going to be creative and have fun with it. So let them eat cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. She, I mean, Jennifer, she can do anything. She can act, she can sing, she can dance. She's a physical comedian. She, I, she thinks like a director. She knows. She's very aware of what other people are doing. Uh, she can make adjustments based on where the camera is. Like it's a very A to Z knowledge of photography, filmmaking, storytelling. So you know, we went even to craft her character on the page. We spent many weeks getting notes to to portray the character that she wanted to portray and in her life you know we talked about her marriages and we talked about you know the way people get married and why people get married and and so there's a lot of her in the movie um and i think that's why she's good at it because she can be natural in it i mean she can inhabit so many things but uh she also had a lot of a lot of say in how this was performed and and shot and and the story was told and i think that made it a much better movie for her and a self-aware sense of humor right that's cool she yeah she totally gets it <laughs> she's also super fun very funny one of the most fun kind of she, kind connected yeah. collaborations i've ever had uh and she's in on the joke like she she's like where where's the light for my booty you know she's like oh yeah Pl like yeah, she let, knows. Give the people I'm all about listen I'm all about on cancel me baby giving the people what they want and so <laughs> JLo expert at this what would you say Jason with that being said you're like she would offer her input and her flair and funny tidbits what is a, a JLo say you know rom-com marriage-esque tidbit that viewers can be like huh oh that was her there that was her little input or addition or well you know she's always been good at physical comedy and and she um uh there's this one scene where they are ending the zip line and her character sort of bites the dust in the sand <laughs> and falls and she kept saying i need to bounce more times <laughs> and i was like, like and, it, and it is it makes it much funnier the fact that she sort of gets dragged along she knows what's funny and then she has the physical knowledge to keep herself safe but also to deliver it so there are many more examples of that that's one that just springs to mind because actually in the moment I was like really you're gonna, you, I don't want you to get hurt you know she's like I'm not gonna get hurt I know what I'm doing and I know what's funny and it's gonna be funnier if it's five bounces mm -hmm. and and then she would she did it it was just uh her knowledge of her own skill set which is considerable is 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 very self-aware, as you say. She is very physical. I was thinking about watching this movie. She does have that physical comedy that I feel like is overlooked. Um, but even on a thematic level, something that I appreciate that this film explores is tradition. Yeah. And even seeing these two leads, right? The, who are a little bit later in life. They're not, you know, in their twenties, father of the bride style. Yeah, It's very reflective of where we are today because at least for my generation, we are in this push and pull where we see people doing the traditional thing or our parents, but we're like, like, I love seeing women in their forties, just getting married and having babies. Cause I'm like, I got shit to do. I got a life to lead. So yeah. I love that. That's refreshing. And even JLo's dad, 
with Darcy's character. He's like, you know, JLo's dad is with the young, uh, you know, yoga instructor. And I'm not an ageist. My boyfriend is, we have quite the age gap. So I loved this. It, that was hysterical. and appreciated right. that. But all these, it's almost like the kind of a little twisted modern family reality, right? Yeah, I think we, I think probably that begins with the fact that we were very conscious about wanting to do a role reversal about a, a woman who's like, I'm in my power. I know who I am. I do not need a princess wedding dress and a big. Cake. I feel that. Yeah. You know, I don't need that. And I, and I know a lot of women who feel the same way. And then also, um, uh, and, and then Josh's character is like, I want the tradition. I want, right. the, I want the rice. I want the cake. I want the romance and all that kind of stuff. So that original reversal, I think allowed us to always ask like, what's a funny twist on something that you would see. And the fact also that they are, later in life it, it it's more interesting why they are the way they are yeah. like why has she decided not to get married until now um and then or even for him like why is it so important to him right it, in the movie it's because he's kind of losing traction in his career and everywhere else in his life and this is the one thing that he can sure can, but hopefully it gave those those arcs more layers and more interesting um, nooks and crannies and and then we tried to do the same sort of always trying to think outside the box like yeah. what's 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 the take on the mother-in-law that's that's the funniest yeah and I have to say it feels very organic and not preacher trying to make some feminist point but very much I like I said I relate friends of mine relate I'm like baby let's elope and call this shit a day like I, you know what I mean like we have things to do um I have to wrap with you Jason but I wanted to ask about um Lenny Kravitz because I recently had the director and co-star of Machine Gun Kelly's new film on and like J-Lo right it's that sort of rock star presence that he and Megan Fox just just naturally exude and something I find inspo by even like I think about it going to meetings no matter where you are they ain't following the dress code same with Levy uh, you know Lenny Kravitz he's gonna show up and be that rock star yeah and it's very empowering and something that surprised me that Machine Gun Kelly's co-star said is how in real life he's like this like emo little high school boy you almost like want to hug what a contradiction to that public persona I was wondering with Lenny same sort of thing or is it sex god rock star through and through and through all day long I know it's it's both of those things that you mentioned that was one of the big reveals and surprises for me because of course from the outside I was trying to think who shows up at a wedding and intimidates Josh Dumel one of the no, most literally handsome men on the planet I was like oh <laughs> Lenny Kravitz because everyone would be intimidated by Lenny, Lenny Kravitz in that way and he does present you know with the sunglasses and the rock star look and that's all part of his intention and and the way he likes to dress and feels good but when i spoke to him for the first time he is i think one of the best listeners i've ever heard like he's i think his family was like went to, went to a lot of therapy he listens very closely he would remember things people would say for days later like he's not got the glasses on to keep himself away i think he's got the glasses on so he can look wherever he wants to look and listen wherever he wants to listen and he is he's he he wanted to be good in the movie he wanted to go again he, and, you know he's he's done a few acting roles but he uh because it was a comedy he was also in on the joke you know i i know that the joke sure. is going to look this way sure but then i also by the end i kind of change and insecure basically in a simple way so he he got that too i was i i adored working with him and the and he is one of again like i say the most connected down to earth yeah. observational and intuitive people i've ever met and that's what's so fascinating too with people like him or whoever um i have to wrap but yeah you find that they have this huge larger than life presence and then in real life maybe they're a little introverted or quirky or like you said observant so that's always fascinating to explore um yeah. jason i have to let you go but chin chin you know maybe <laughs> a lope may maybe next time i speak with you i will have a loped and you know maybe you know be inspired by your movie and really make shit chaotic and crazy so. i love it yeah hopefully it all goes to plan exactly to, all right to talk to you you as well